Yo, people, welcome back to another episode of Bench Free Sport TV Pod. I'm Tyler. I'm Chris. I'm JT. Today, we're going to be talking about the FA Cup, West Ham's L, Liverpool's W's, the Europa League predictions. And as you can see next to me, we've got a special guest, Dagny Redbridge star, Mohamed Sagaf. Welcome, brother. Thank you, bro. It's a pleasure to have you. Without further Thanks ado, let's it. get to it. The first one, I'm going to go to you straight to JT. Mm-hmm. FA Cup, Leicester. Mm-hmm. Won the game against Chelsea. What's your thoughts on the game, my brother? Yeah, Leicester, they were just more up for it, to be honest. Like, first half, it was fairly even. I think Chelsea going into halftime with a better side. But in the second half, Leicester just wanted the game more. And then with Chelsea, I think they tried to overcomplicate things with the team selection, making a lot of changes. I feel like Pulisic should have started. And I feel like Tammy Abraham should have been in the squad at the very least if not starting, because Werner has been out of form. He was dreadful again yesterday. And yeah, in the end, Leicester were just the hungrier side and it was, took a great goal from Tillemans and that gave them the win. Chris, so, what are you saying? Yeah. 100% man, like, <clears throat> 100% because at the end of the day, when you look at the build-up to the game through the week, you could hear like Leicester talking about their owner passing and how they would honour his memory to win it. So I think mentally, like Leicester were already there. They wanted to win it from the jump. I feel like as like JT said, like leaving out Tammy Abraham when Werner's like Werner's form is so inconsistent. Like you don't know what you're really getting with Werner when he turns up. Werner could turn up, score, rarely scores actually. Let me not lie. Turns up, gives an assist, or just runs up and down the wing. <laughs> or he could actually turn up and just do something. But I feel like to leave out Tammy Abraham, I think Tuchel needs to actually explain like, why he's leaving out Abraham like this because like Werner's not consistent. <clears throat> Part of Whereas, the world, bro. <laughs> there's always that favoritism when it comes to football. Yeah, of course. He could be the best striker. The manager comes in, you know, playing. For example, Lampard is there. Yeah. All the, mm. They all get an opportunity. Yeah, it's fast. It. All the kids. Mm. All the kids. All them kids. Yeah, yeah. So when <coughs> different manager comes in, different structure, how different he wants to play, yeah. different formation. All right, let me, let me ask you this then, yeah? Do you really think that Tammy would have made a difference to that game? Probably, yeah. It, the, the reason why, because listen, he's a different type of player though. So you've got, um, Varane just runs a lot. He's, he's looking to get behind. But Tammy is Back to similar goal. to Giroud, but it's not. But remember, he's younger, <coughs> more athlete, so he'll probably give you more than what you expected. So if you're talking about in the air, he got that. I feel like he's more... But right now, because even he's not, um, he's not playing, I mean, he'll probably be more hungry to yeah. come in and yeah. put a point. Yeah, that's a good point to the, still. To the fans in the wire, should be starting to the manager. Yeah, what are you saying, Chris? Because, like, Tammy, as he said, like, it's more athletic. He's younger. Remember, he's strong as well. And he's, like, what, 6'4"? Mm. So, back to goal, he's beautiful for that. Because imagine someone like Werner, who, who's got the pace, Tammy back to goal, ball comes into him, he rolls it off to, like, Werner. At least the best Werner could do is cross it across the goal. So, I feel like Tammy would have offered a lot there. I think VAR again struck. <laughs> <laughs> it struck. Wait, hold on. Before we get onto that VAR controversy, let, yeah. I want to hear JT's thoughts on that still, on this Tammy situation. On, on the Tammy situation, yeah. I feel like if Tammy was to be the one who joined Chelsea this summer, coming from Leipzig in a big move, he would be getting opportunities. But because he's from the academy, it's easy for him to be dismissed and mm. not heard. So I feel like that's, that plays a part because when you're a big signing, there's, mm. pre- there's a certain amount of pressure for you to play. When you're coming from the academy, etc., like managers don't feel inclined to play you and give you the same chances, etc. Yeah. Like at the end of it, you're just from the academy. Yeah, I was I was reading something earlier today as well saying that, oh, you know, Tammy is still the top goal scorer, isn't it? He is, in, yeah. in the Chelsea team, yeah, and he's oh, and he's but, played like I think like eight minutes of football under two or something like that. If you think about it, he has to go out and prove himself. Remember, he had to go to Villa mm-hmm. to prove himself, mm-hmm. you know, why should be at Chelsea next season. Yeah. Came back, scoring goals. You know what I'm saying? But even if he's not playing right now, but as a manager, one striker's is not working out, give the other guy opportunity, you know what I'm saying? So. But this is it, though. Right now, he's that third choice because they've got Giroud there, isn't it? That's coming from the bench. They'd rather play Havertz and in that even, position. Yeah, and even, even Giroud, yeah, not playing like as much as he should be, even that's, that's a joke thing in itself. Okay. Bro, for, for France... He's the guy. So it's like, bro, like, how are you at Chelsea you're not getting a chance at all? they got no number nine, basically, because Werner's not, he's not a striker, man. That guy's a winger, bro. As you said, he just runs up and he's like, hell, this chicken, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what nah, I mean? Hey, yeah, but I'll, do you know what it is? The way, like, the way he plays in his, like, false nine. So mm. it's, it's not like a, if you're talking about a proper striker, that's Tammy. Yeah, so yeah. Like, you know, yeah, the 
ball calm, he'll ball stick. He'll set my man or he, the ball calm, he'll flick it over. You know, for my man to run behind. So, yeah. but that's part of ball as well, man. That's what. Wait, I know, I know you man saw this, innit? Yeah. His girl on Instagram <laughs> got him mad. What are you man saying uh, for that, though? JT, what are you saying for that? You reckon that was right of her to do that? Yeah, you reckon that's going to mess him up even more? She's a real one. <laughs> if, I'm top, if I'm top goal scorer and it's a cup final and then my girl's just not saying anything about it, etc. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that really my girl? <laughs> like, oh. nah, but it's a, I feel, uh, did she delete the post? Yeah, I, feel, I think yeah, she, she deleted, deleted it still, deleted but it. you know it's too late, but once but it's there, it's yeah, there. Now it's yeah. there for yeah. us to see and she let us know how she feels and I don't think she's done anything wrong. She's just letting out her reaction. Nah, but that's sure. the, that's just it though. She's, <laughs> sure. not, she's not letting out her reaction. She's letting out his reaction in doing that. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, yeah, you have to but remember, like... we're not seeing what's going on at home. Like he could proper be upset, like just moving mad at home. Like not moving mad, but you get me? Yeah, yeah, He'd just yeah. be upset and on one every day because mm-hmm. he's not getting picked, but he's one of the best. And you have to remember, when you're one of the best, Jen, you're not getting picked. You're probably sitting there thinking, yeah. why am I not hit? Why am I not playing? So I feel like, I feel like she was right for doing what she did. Nah, do you know I feel like he's going to be gone in the summer, though. In that situation, they? yeah. Football is, like, I believe football is a beautiful sport. But when it comes to, like, mentality-wise, mm-hmm. strong, bro, you will crumble, bro. In that situation, of, I've been there. I know how exactly how it is, isn't it? So it's like, mm-hmm. for him not to, for him not to, like, <clears throat> he might be working hard, training harder than everyone else. But at the end of the day, it's the manager. And if the manager's not feeling you, or he's like... How I'm gonna see? Do you know if you re- if you really think about it, the system the manager's playing right now is all fast football. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Tammy, for him doesn't suit him. Yeah. If you think about yeah, it. Yeah. He holds up. He the holds player, it, but yeah, for yeah, him yeah. he wants to like the three up front to interchange, switch up. Yeah. And Tammy hasn't got that. He's good. He's too young. Yeah, yeah. But you know you're not gonna expect Tammy yeah. to be on a wing. Yeah. No. Mm. game. Yeah. As I feel like he is, he's more of a hold up striker than anything. Exactly. Isn't it? Yeah. Like, yeah. He's more of a bully ball kind of striker. It's That's true. It's true. But VAR. <laughs> It's messing up the game just again. <laughs> Cup finals now. Mm. You know what though? Yeah, I'm glad. It, I'm glad that VAR got that because Ben Chua was celebrating a bit too hard against oh, his former yeah. club. <laughs> Shouldn't have been celebrating like that still. But Chris, what are you saying for that though, man? Again, like you know what? Yeah, if it was like if it was closer, I'd be like, yeah, you know what? It was wrong. VAR should have let it go. But Donny was offside. Everybody could kind of see he was offside. Like, even, like, the referee, because the linesman's looking. He's just standing there. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, he's offside, he's offside. <laughs> and then you can see, like, the signal he's giving to the ref. So, like, and the thing is, yeah, that's just a clear example of, fam, don't celebrate early. Like, anything can happen. Now, I feel like that anything can happen now is back in football. Yeah, but this is the thing, man. It's just ruining the game, bruv. Like, people don't want to celebrate anymore. Um, Ooh, you was... It was on to- <laughs> oh, 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 nah, man. man. Huh? How can you be offside just a little, like, by elbow? Oh, that's you know what I'm saying, saying bruv? But the like, thing is, yeah, they're trying to get this whole thing of... Like, they're trying to do this whole elite thing of raw, like, if you're elbow, they want the fine lines. He was, um, so. yeah, was it Lee's game yesterday? Jack mm. Harrison scored, yeah, but he, like, he just, like, flicked it in. Someone licked it off, yeah, from outside the box and he flicked it in. He didn't even celebrate because he didn't even know. He didn't know if he was onside or offside or VAR. Was in. So he just, like, <laughs> went in and he was just, like, <laughs> and <laughs> everyone's <laughs> all over him. And, he, and even still, he was, like, <laughs> I don't even know. Like, and when the VR checked, then he was, like, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? But, I don't know. Have you have, do you know it's just good? But at the same time, it's just that it's ruining the game right now. Because mm-hmm. yeah. a little thing, just the whole game or something like humbles. Some of them, it'll it hit your sh- like it hit your thigh, hit your hand, and then just because you touch your hand inside the box, mm. it's take it's a pen. But in other like, circumstances, we've seen where VAR, like, fam, it's a clear handball and it's not been given. Like Hudson Odoi against Man United for Chelsea. Like the ball, like he was levitating the ball like dynamo <laughs> on his hand, fam. And they still gave, and they still didn't give it. And it's like, what more can you do? Because he's like this with the ball and they still didn't give it. So it's like with VAR, again, I've been saying this for weeks now, we actually need to start hearing what these men are actually talking about. Because one thing that gets on my nerves is they don't say what's actually going on in the box. We won't hear enough from the box. We won't hear enough from the referee, but we'll see them go back and do all these little like slow rewinds and stuff. And it's like, it's annoying. Tell me what, like, tell us what you're thinking. So we can understand it. Because all of this, oh, they're under pressure, under pressure. Fam, you've got so long. Like, you've got time to go and check it. You've got time to confer. But you're standing there like this. Oh, my gosh. Like, do I give it? Do I not? It's a handball. <laughs> like, go check the thing. Hurry up. Go do that. Come back. I feel like with VAR, like, it's just it's shaky. But again, this anything can happen in football is now back. Yeah. Mm. Boy, you know what? Let's move on, innit? Because you know VAR is just long anyway, man. It ain't going to be no change. I know JT, I know JT, I don't want to talk about all of that. 
um, let's move on to our next segment then. West Ham dropping points. Mm. Liverpool picking up points. What are you man saying? So West Ham picking yeah. up points. I like that. West Ham, this we, is the dream's <laughs> over. We ain't seeing Lewandowski come in Stratford to play football. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going Westfield. I'm actually coming to play football. We're not seeing that anymore. Oh. So yeah, nice. A bit sad for West Ham, as in no Champions League. But they need to keep composed and make sure they get that Europa League place. And it will still be a good season for them, considering considering where they are. Because yesterday they played Brighton, they dropped points to Brighton. But this time last year, they were below teams like Brighton. So it's been a remarkable turnaround for them and hopefully they can kick on. Because in recent weeks, Ben Rama, he's a very good player, had a very good season last season at Brentford. He's been showing up in recent weeks. Like yesterday, he got a, on the score sheet for the first time. So yeah, now next season, they can hopefully build on what they done this season. Hopefully they can keep the likes of Lingard. Hopefully Rice can stay on as skipper and carry on. And then yeah, going into Mark Noble's final season, hopefully they can have another Good season, like this season. Well, mm. before wait, before you get onto that, what what team you support? United, bro. Oh, yes, <laughs> oh, my <laughs> brother. <laughs> okay, go on then. Go on, go no, on. Who do you support? I'm Liverpool still. Oof. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm I Liverpool. Come on, they know me. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, I actually want to say West Ham top four. You know, I'm yeah. never gonna lie. Just like, for them to be in Champions League, the reason why, yeah, all oh, local West Ham is there. Yeah. But one mm. team, or say how they've been performing since Lingard went. I mean, mm-hmm. so. One guy can change the whole team. Add yeah. energy. Yeah, the same yeah, thing yeah. as in United. One player, Bruno, mm. change the whole energy. Mm-hmm. So like, for them to be top four, I don't mind. Liverpool missing out. Yeah, I don't mind. We're not, miss, we're <laughs> not, we're not missing <laughs> out though. Trust That's me. What he like, you know, <laughs> listen, listen. I promise you. Like, obviously, the season's almost done. But yeah. I was literally happy for it time to put, like to be top four. I wanted yeah. to be in Champions League. I think they dropped to like what seventh or eighth now. Because yeah, um, yeah. Tottenham won today, innit? They dropped yeah. below Tottenham now as well. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're, seven, they're seventh. Yeah, they're seventh. But, boy, what I'm saying is that Alisson, uh, not header. just a goalkeeper, a goal scorer. <laughs> so hey, that's a, a great technique as well. Says, no, says, a lot about, says a lot about money. <laughs> my, my, listen, my, my, listen, my front three is just worry about for me, no. <laughs> Son is still top goal scorer <laughs> in the league. For me, you're back twice against Man United during the what? week. Listen, Be quiet, is- man. You lost, bro. <laughs> it's not your time, fam. You get me? Firmino, Bobby, Bobby Blood Clark, yeah, that is thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Edison, uh, the head of Chad, fam. You don't even know about them thing there. Uh, you see what I'm saying? At the end of the day, yeah, Bardet's highlight was blanking Klopp, man. I'll Let's be real. be real. That was his biggest highlight, blanking Klopp. Man, look at Klopp like, wait, what? Hey, go away. Just walk talk. Yeah, he boyed it still. But the thing he is, yeah, you see Liverpool... I guarantee you, Phillips or Phillips or whoever's at the back with Phillips is gonna bottle it last day of the season. But do you know last what? Game, it says a lot about Liverpool, though, man. Hey, hey, I heard no. that. I heard that Virgil's back last game of the season. You know, nah, I think. You know what? Yeah, I think he's gonna make. I think it's just some sexy. I know. And you know, just hoping, isn't it? Hoping, hoping. On their edge, returning to Royal Rumble type. They're twenty nine, man. It says a lot about Liverpool. One player mess up your whole setting. You know that, right? Mm-hmm. That's the thing I said it before previously on this thing. Like Liverpool is just it's a it's a one it's a unit. Once you take one little piece out of it, yeah, it don't work. Nah, you, but you can't do it in football though. Uh, oh, don't get me wrong, yeah, football is all about team like a team yeah. thing. But if one steps out, mm. surely you got someone them. should be there Some, to, to, to solve it. I know, I know, but to yeah, but that's you. just it though. We have replacements, and guess what happened? They got injured as well. Matty got so, injured so as who well. Are we bl- who we blaming? And then here? and then Henderson was playing centre back. So we blaming the well. chef or we blaming the physio here? I'm blaming the physio. You can't. Okay. Nah, I'm joking. I'm blaming the fixtures. Corona. Oh my God. Man, I'm playing so games every three days. Will blame no, anything, anything they could get the hands on. They will blame anything. anything. No, 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 Arsenal not dead. Wait, what? Arsenal, Arsenal, Arsenal man, just, no, 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 you man, man, Arsenal, Arsenal, you man, 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 Back alcohol just to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I swear to God, uh, like he's like, more don't call my line until the game finishes. <laughs> I'll call him. Yeah, the guy doesn't pick up the phone, bro. Look, all I'm saying Ooh. is, yeah, my early predictions in it were Chelsea third, Liverpool fourth. Okay. You remember? You remember me saying yeah, that? Wait, wait. You remember, remember me saying, saying that, that, right? Yeah. Right now, Liverpool won 63 points per game in hand, three points behind Leicester, one point behind Chelsea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Leicester and Chelsea playing um, Tuesday night. Yeah. That's big. Oh, that's a big so one. So, about my predictions? That's... It's, gonna, okay. it's coming to fruition, right? Maybe. Oh, hold on, hold on. Mm-hmm. I, my, mm-hmm. I want Chelsea to win that game in it, yeah? So Chelsea, yeah, yeah. So Chelsea can, because um, Leicester got to play Chelsea in that game and then they got Tottenham in their last game. Oh. I want them to lose both them games. Oh. Liverpool, we got to play Burnley and Palace. I guarantee well, you score up against so? Palace. See them, Remember that them, time? You, you, know, you know them small teams? <laughs> they'll turn up more than big teams, you know that, right? Yeah, that was like today against West, 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 West Brom. Boy, yes. Them man but, come to play, you know? But at the same time, Chelsea and Leicester, because like, Leicester already beat them, final, mm. they got a little trophy. Mm. So yeah, we can do that again. 100%. Yeah, but Chelsea, but Chelsea were revenge though, innit? But bear in mind, if you be a team once, when you play against, like, for example, like even us, if you win one game, the next game is like, yo, or if we, let's say, I'll give a perfect example, right? We'll be a team that, this season, mm. smelled them at 3 0. Mm. But Gaffer said, Yo, we've already beat them. Don't let that go six if you can. Mm. And so he's like, Don't let them beat us again. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, but it's that. I feel like yeah. Chelsea are going to have fire in their belly, innit? Because they just lost to them. They're going to be like, Nah, man. There's no way we're losing these men twice in the, in the space of a week, mm. or less than a week. No way. And we've got Champions League final to, pr- to prepare for now. We've got ramped this up. They're going to be ready for that game still. They're coming. Yeah. And Leicester are losing and they're losing against nah, Tottenham nah, as well. Because, because see that front four of Bale, Son, Harry Kane, and, and Delhi, they're not on games right now. They're coming. So let, let's, I want Leicester to lose both the remaining two games. But the thing I, is, I don't yeah, mind Chelsea finishing third and we can go through the qualification of Champions League because that's we, we don't deserve nothing. You might will finish that. worse off than you probably will finish this season if you have to go through qualification. No, 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 no. Don't worry about that. We're gonna because we're gonna have depth next season. Konate, Mati Konate. back, yeah. Gomez Konate. back, Virgil back, Henderson back. Imagine they don't sign anybody he's talking about right no, now. No, no, we already agreed this No, Konate is already a done deal, so but imagine they don't sign four, anybody else. What, four solid centre backs then no, after bro, that. Bro, and look how many you got this season, season and still crumble. It's in your, it's in your, uh, your yeah, injured, man. Got injured. Let me crumble, see, see, crumble, crumble. That's what I'm hearing. You got it in your hands, innit? You got it in your hands right now. So I didn't think Liverpool were going to get top four, but results have gone their way. Like my boys, Arsenal helped out because you know how Liverpool <laughs> signed Kabak. <laughs> Liverpool respect. signed Kabak so we could get rid of Mustafi. <laughs> so we repaid the favour. Yeah, we repaid the favour by, you know what I'm saying? We repaid the favour by beating Chelsea. Are you going back to Shark top... anyway, man? <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, uh, like, Liverpool got in their hands. I feel like today, Today, I feel like they ran out of ideas, but they dug deep to get the goal, even though it was through Allison. So winners do. It felt like Thiago, you know, the real mentality shots. monsters. Thiago just did a long <laughs> shot after long <laughs> shot. Who? Thiago, Thiago did he? Bro, yeah, you, you know, like he was letting it man. off. He saw, he like two. Listen, he saw what happened at Wembley yesterday and thought that's him. <laughs> 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 when you got a player like but Trent on your team, anything's I possible. I feel like Trent was a bit, Trent was creating chances, you know but what? sometimes the final nah, ball was a bit iffy today. Defensively, he's yeah, so shaky yeah. compared but to the, the final ball is a bit iffy today, but A and I, Liverpool dug deep, they did what they needed to do. And it's all about winning at this stage, isn't it? And Liverpool done that. That's what we do. So yeah. They deserve it, man. I feel like what ahead as well. So hold on, hold on. I feel so are you uh, about to stop changing predictions now? Two uh, games no. left or the thing is the thing is my predictions I, I really need to change, innit? Because uh West Ham just let me down in the end. I'm changing mine off camera. No, no, I'm not. I'm but not doing I, this. I, 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 don't, I, I don't know who's gonna what? get. I'm not. I'll change my life. No, I'm not, no, 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 we're gonna put it on the Insta that Chris changed his top four. No, I'm not changing this on camera. No nah, way. As in, like West Ham, they they they're out. I had West Ham in it, and I still had Chelsea, but. Uh, we have to see who joins uh, the two Manchester clubs. I don't there's know. Two, I don't no, know. No, this way. Bro, bro, I don't know. This no, 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 bro. There's this two way. games left, man. What is your prediction? Uh, that four teams will be in the Champions League next season. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think nah. Now, nah, to be honest, I think Liverpool get it though. I'm never gonna lie. Along with what Chelsea I or think, Leicester? <clears throat> Chelsea, probably. That was my prediction. Chris, just speak, man. Come on. The fact the audience is waiting to hear from you, bro. You said enough already, but. I we cannot confirm or deny that Liverpool will be in the top four next season. Um, I think, you know what? One London club is going to get it. That's definitely going to be Chelsea. Chelsea are going to want to finish this season in the top four and win the Champions League. I feel uh, like... <clears throat> um, <laughs> well, I feel like Leicester can still do a thing. I feel like Leicester could still possibly win it. They could scrape it out still. What, so like, you're saying that Leicester no, are going to no. beat Chelsea and Tottenham? But if they draw games. like no no for the next two games, you know, I feel like they could still hold on to it though. Can they not? Yeah, they can depend. No, they can't. They can't. They can't. They can't. They're on sixty six. Yeah, oh, if they get yeah. two draws. They're on sixty eight. If Liverpool win next year, they're on sixty nine. No, but see, could, just see your prediction. Though. It hurts to say this because we're going to win what, with every five. Nah, 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 like, oh, I went. Yeah. I went into the future. I saw the games. <laughs> I tell you, it's going to happen. I tell you, it's going to happen. Yeah, <laughs> Burnley, Firmino is going to score first. Oh, then God. they're going to score Chris Wood, mm. and then Salah's going to score twice. Please remember this. Hold on, and then 
Fast forward into the next game, yeah, Crystal Palace. On. Four nil thing. I'm never gonna tell you the goal scores. No, no, just no, wait no, and see. No, no. This one, this <laughs> and then that's the Champions League. Gonna be celebrating the pitch, Champions League, and that fans, all of that. Anfield. Well, Crystal Palace, yeah. <laughs> uh, Salah, he's gonna meet Tyreek Mitchell. He scored 100. today his first goal for Palace. Yeah, he done his thing. That's he's, gonna, he's gonna buck sick Salah. Sick <laughs> no, listen, he's gonna buck Salah and keep Liverpool at the Champions League. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Oh, I don't know. I feel like uh, personally, it'll be. I feel like Leicester and Liverpool get top four and Chelsea win the Champions League and get in that way. Speaking of oh, Europe, <laughs> speaking of Europe, yeah. Let's quickly just go on to our Europa League uh, prediction cover the games on the weekend. So obviously on the next week, we'll be talking about the result. And obviously we've got two main yeah. fans right here. So Business. Mo, I'm going to go to you first. Um, finals. I think definitely now is going to win it, man. 100%. Right now, like, Bruno has to Will be the probably like first major trophy for United since he came. Think mm. about it realistically. Mm-hmm. So you've got people like Cavani. One of the best Why are you players. so confident though? Listen, it's United, bro. I'm not Arsenal. You know what I'm saying, but <laughs> man, but it's United. Isn't it? So right now, United the the form they're in. If you think about it, um, Fred, not not necessarily Fred, but Pogba, Bruno, Cavani. <laughs> what's what's you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bruno, Wood, Rashford. Run out on point as in performance, they're, they're backing it yeah. every time. So, yeah. you know, you're gonna get goals regardless what if it's like 2 1 oh, down, they'll oh, come back. Oh, Chris, oh gosh, you know what? Yeah, I was so confident two weeks no, this time last week before we played. Um, who did we play? And Maguire got injured. I think it was Aston Villa, it was Villa. Mm. Two weeks ago, I was confident that like, right, we're gonna wrap this thing real quick. Like, it's gonna be 4 0 in the first half. By second half, everybody's kind of getting ready to celebrate. And then Maguire got injured. And then I saw what happened against Leicester and Liverpool. I said, yeah, this one's going to be a long one. You just so, lost the better teams. But anyway, go on, sorry. Wait, I'm so sorry. Where, where's, where's your team finishing? Aren't you man the ones I, that are cutting for a don't quick get win? distracted now. <laughs> Focus. Focus. <laughs> I mean, he's there. Harry Maguire. <laughs> yeah. Don't yeah, do this. Don't do though. this. Anyway, um, like United, back to United anyway. Firm, I feel like United are going to have to struggle to beat Villarreal. It's going to have no. to go nil nil for the whole game, and then we're going to have to go penalties. No, no. Penalties? No, I thought it's going to have to go to penalties. No, no, this is the confidence so, you got. Your t- oh, no, no wait, 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 wait. I've just clocked him. He's on this okay. um, reverse psychology thing. He done it before. He done it before. He done it before. He doesn't really think this, you know. We're gonna have to scrape that win. No, Harry Maguire. Off camera. Vincent, listen, listen. Vincent, you ain't saying this off camera. Really, you ain't saying this off Vincent camera. Three nil. He says he's like, bro, yeah, three nil. But he Vincent Lindelof has a fear of heights because we never see him jump for the ball yet. First day. <laughs> so you can imagine what happens when the ball goes over his head. Like Eric Bay just throws himself at everything. Like he'll no, throw himself at anything yeah, and everything. Yeah, he's raw, but he's there's, there's improvement through it. Like, of course, up. but the rawness, ago, no. like for example, Liverpool game, who did he jump at and almost oh, conceded um, the penalty? The, the, the centre back, yeah, yeah. The yeah, he back, almost jumped. Was it Phillips? Yeah, yeah. He yeah, jumped yeah. at Phillips. Like, yeah, bro, it was wild, like it was wild. when you're trying in a game like that, yeah, where we could <laughs> stop Liverpool from getting Champions League at that point and we could have just gone clear completely. Then you like though, yeah. Like, we, like, that's not the that's not the thing you should do. Like, he just jumped straight at him and I thought the whole time. I was like, okay, yeah. So game's done. What are we doing now, fam? Because I thought like we're losing straight away from the minute he jumped. And it's like, for me, that's anxiety. Because imagine that happens in the final. Imagine nil-nil, it's 89th minute and he just does that. Bro, game over. They've scored their Come penalty. Come on, man. Let's right, be... Like, on, for man. me, I'm not for confident your, that United right, could win. But your Europa League, I feel like United got the pressure on them to win. Everyone expects them to win. But Villarreal, they're not exactly <clears> the biggest of mugs. They're not exactly mugs. Like today, they won 4-0 against Sevilla. That back are returning to form, showing class is still permanent. And then they've had a relatively okay season. They're a hard team to beat type thing. They ain't lost a lot of games under Una Emery. They just draw all the time. So I feel like it'd be a tough task. And then the longer United take to score in the final, then uh, you feel like the odds tilt more to Villarreal type thing. You know United like late goals. Just like the longer they're on edge and they're nervous and they ain't got that goal, you, you sense that Villarreal could just do a smash and grab type thing. Because realistically... I got, uh, hold on. Okay, I've got a question for so, you. So, where'd you finish? He's on yeah, me. Nah, he's so, on nah, me nah, today. So, he's so, on so me. Emery could oh, like, win me. another Europa League because you already know how he's the king of that competition. Shame he couldn't do with you, man. So, bro, okay. he could. But I feel like United will get the job done. I'm on to you, birthday boy. <laughs> he's on to me, but it's, it's cool. <laughs> You're talking about basically saying how your team's going to miss Harry Maguire for the final, yeah? Yeah. I swear you cast Harry Maguire all the time. 
No, 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 no. That's the producer behind the screen, behind the camera store. That's not me, man. So what, you got love for Maguire? Bro, I lo- bro, I got love for Maguire. Like, fam, that's my guy. I think what? Maguire, I think, I think... <laughs> that's my guy. <laughs> bro, when it, when it was in Croatia fight, what, who do you think was back in it? It was me, <laughs> bro. Listen, man, all I'm saying, water, yeah. Like, all come on that fam. All I'm saying is that you, man, are all chatting rubbish, isn't it? Yeah, not, not you, but you... And you, not you're chatting rubbish, but he chat rubbish. But you're, I'm just going to say what you man don't want to say. Just say that you wish you had Maguire. I'm, I'm just going to say what you man don't want to say. Just say you wish you had Maguire. Just say what you man don't want to say. Man United are going to this team, innit? Yeah, in this final. I said it. They're going to bat them, man. Like but they got, listen, the likes of Pogba, yeah, I know it's just names, innit? But them names mean something. Pogba, yeah. Bruno, Rashford, Cavani. Yeah. They don't worry about the defence. You're going to outscore them But regardless. the thing is, yeah, look at where majority of our goals come from. They come from the left-hand side. We saw against Leicester and Liverpool. Once you put everybody on the left-hand side just away from the no, ball, yeah, your goals come from properly. whatever Bruno is on the pitch. No, though. no, because when you look at, for example, Tottenham game, Villa game, everything was just coming from the left. Like, balls were getting sent but into the left. Part of the board, like, part of the game, if, if she walks on the left, yeah. corner the left, keep doing the same thing on the left side. The thing is, like, is it exactly. really... Because I feel like, with our two losses, yeah, I feel like Unai Emery's just watching this at home thinking, oh, okay, this is what we're going to do here. Bro, he's going to come up with a master like game plan here because field, when you <laughs> lose two games, <laughs> when you lose two games, yeah, because, okay, but could we discount the Leicester game because we had academy players on the pitch? Mm-hmm. But then the Liverpool game, watch that. Imagine you're a manager sitting at home that's the team you're meant to play. Bro, you're going to sit there and think, well, this is what they're doing and this is how they're messing up against these teams. This is how I'm going to set up. What do you mean these teams? You just got outplayed. Listen, yeah. We, that was, that was an no, academy wait, wait, wait. team on first I'm not, I'm not even on joke, but that was the Liverpool of last season that you got against you, man, the other day. I like, it was oh. a sketchy first 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, listen, true. Listen, listen, yeah. Listen. yeah. It was a bit rocky yeah, still. Yeah, <laughs> And then I feel like the turning point was that penalty decision, that VAR decision. I feel like from then... They got fired up. Yeah, they got fired yeah, up. Yeah, and that's not what you want against Liverpool. You want to give them that changed, motivation. Right? With Liverpool, it always takes something to see the best from Liverpool this season. It's like yeah, this season. Well. They don't this come season. out from the gates flying type. This yeah. season, but bro, majority of that game, it was all over them, innit? Yeah, that, that, that was the but Liverpool then, of last season you got. That's because we, we're, we're trying to achieve something, innit? Because the way, like... Cause for example, adversity. But I feel like, it's, yeah, Dean Henderson basically helped you, though, with that game. Looking at it, we're so trying to say he's not good enough to be in golf main head. Listen, it's as fans, we yeah. like, like fans him, fought for him to get one. to that position. Like, like, for the the reason fans, I'm saying that, yeah, would you start? Right. Would you be? Would you start him or De Gea as a United fan? Like, who'd you rather see? I'll start De Gea. Okay. The reason De Gea I'm saying that because bro, you can't go from like being the best player of the year like two, three times mm-hmm. at the club, be one of the best keepers, and then all of a sudden getting dropped out of nowhere. That makes sense. Yeah, they, they, I can't like, they take, they've kind of shagged their hair still with that. No, 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 no. His come performances from. have been dipping. Like, ever since the World Cup when he came back, remember, he mi- he messed up against Cardiff, messed up against Barcelona, messed up bare times. There's just such yeah, a massive that, catalog. Let's, let's, yeah, let's be honest, yeah. The hair is still a much better keeper than Henderson. But the thing is, yeah, before, the no, because before the World Cup, yeah, I would, like, before the World Cup, he was one of the best goalkeepers in the world, at least top two. <clears throat> but as soon as like Serana. he came back from the World Cup, yeah, Serana is not. I don't think he is, bro. But, but the attributes that he has, fam, I hear that. But you know what, yeah, I have dreams about this. Imagine the oh. cup final, yeah, <sighs> man slips. Like I have anxiety. Well, you have more faith in Henderson. I put more faith in Henderson because Henderson comes out and no, commands I feel like the line. His performance though against Liverpool just shows that he's raw as a goalkeeper. If you're a hundred percent, obviously he like still needs young, to break into it, goalkeeper, like De Gea did when he first came in. But if you're a sweep, if it's a sweeper keeper, I'm more happy to watch somebody just come out from the line, fly out of the line, grab that ball. But Whereas De Gea will stand there and anticipate where's the person going. <laughs> I don't want to see you do all of this, like all of this shit. I'm not interested. Come off the line, grab that <laughs> ball, take that, and boot it up the field. But Henderson hasn't had a great season. But for listen, you, man, we saw. We saw no, but we saw I'm sorry, yesterday. I, I thought a little too hard for him to get to that position. I thought too a no on Twitter for him to get there, yeah. I'll be <laughs> damned if I let one of you come here. I, you, got, the team. you gotta find these tweets and get them on, on the video. Oh, no, I'm you gotta find them. <laughs> and, uh, but, uh, yesterday though, yesterday we look at yesterday's FA Cup final year. Chelsea made uh, the choice to go with Kepa, Kepa yeah. over Mendy. And then like you, you saw what happened with the goal. Like some people can say, oh, Mendy would have done better if Mendy was in oh, goal. Yeah, Mendy's people like, people like a yeah, there, fam. People, people would have been yeah. like, if Mendy mm. was in goal, he wouldn't have confidence to shoot from far have like you? that type thing. But so you're telling me that like, you'll generally go with like Henderson over the hill in, in your biggest game. 
of the season. <laughs> but bear in mind, mm. they have more experience in them kind of situations. A hundred percent, they're here for the experience. But the so, problem is for me, he doesn't just, come on the line. So, right, so we're cool, still so, going to Henderson, yeah. So, so to wrap this up, yeah. To wrap up the first half of this pod, let me just get the score predictions for the actual game for United for the yeah uh, <coughs> final. Three 0 Chris four two. Two one to United. I'm gonna go four two as well, my United still. In fact, no, no, no. Four one, four one. They're not scoring two goals. I thought that they were. Yeah, but that's the first segment wrapped up. We're gonna get into the next part, which is just gonna involve just a couple of questions that we got for our special guest Mo here. Just talking about his career and the things he's achieved and accomplished throughout it. Um, I'll let JT get going with the first question. So, like, the first question I have for you, Mo, was like, what age did you really get into football? Obviously, like, that's something you do now, and then yeah. So like, how are you? How are you now? And then when did you start type thing? Um, right now I'm 23, maybe 24 this mm-hmm. year. And, but I've been playing football since I was young. But um, it runs through the family, and then my dad plays football. Mm-hmm. Like two of my brothers, all of them played football. But literally, it kind of goes together. All of us are midfielders. Mm-hmm. If it makes sense. Yeah. So I say when I was that like age, eight. That's what was the right time for me to like, start fully training by myself outside. My brother takes me out. But yeah, I run from five or six, start playing football. Mm-hmm. But what, what was your like biggest inspiration, obviously, apart from like your parents and your family all playing and that? Like, what was it or who was it that got you into it properly? Like, who was your main player? Or was it your dad? You get me saying, was he pushing you hard or was it just like a love of watching <coughs> the game, watching a certain player? Nah, it was, it's, it's both, bro. Because like, my dad used to play, so like, I never seen him, like I've never watched him. But mm-hmm. when people speak up my dad, they say, Yeah, the guy was a player. Like, yeah, this guy was good. Mm-hmm. So even my brother saying exactly the same thing. But at the same time I was used to watch I would say of more like Ronaldinho, I used to watch him. You know, mm-hmm. but I kinda grew up into him, see how he plays. Yeah. But I ended up going to like more of Zidane. Watching a bit of Zidane. Okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Yeah, that kinda changed my mind of playing football. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, imagine. Um Obviously, we know you was playing at Lane Orient, didn't it? When you was about 13. Yeah, when I was young. So, how was your time at Lane Orient? It was good at that time. You know, when you're young, playing for academy, exciting, 24-7. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> playing every time. And then, obviously, it always goes from that age, hopefully to get a scholar if you don't get it. You know, so, mm-hmm. now you're into, like, proper football reality world now. So, yeah. it's either man up, try to another team, or try to get a scholar from other teams. If it doesn't work out, mm-hmm. start, start playing maybe, like, this other little team, so yeah. How yeah. did you get scout? How did you get scout after playing for Lake Norrent? Like, was it a local team was playing for before that? Or, um, there's some guy literally called Ben, uh, from Gascon actually, Blue Course, if you know Blue Course or Black Horse, yeah. so mm. you know, yeah. so he used to come and do them Lake Norrent tournaments, okay, like, take us to like, different places. And yeah. so he's like, Yo, I uh, spotted later manager, he wants you in, then he gave me exactly the day in a window, uh, played like a game, pull me in. I think I scored like two, three goals. And then he was like, oh, we'll like you come back next week. Yeah. So back next week, so you're going to sign. So they're not happy days. Yeah. Us as locals <laughs> also. Yeah, that's good. What was the day-to-day like when you were at the academy? Was it like straight after school, you just going training like every day or every other day, games it's on the weekends? <clears throat> yeah, straight after school, literally either get on a bus, I'm literally going there, and then come back. So it was like, we didn't train it like every day thing, but it was like some days in it. So like probably like three times a day. Yeah. And sat these games. Yeah, so. that's good, man. And then, like, obviously, what what, so what age did you leave Lake Norrent then? So I was there from say like twelve to like thirteen, fourteen. Okay. And then oh. that's when I was with Emerson at Dagenham after. So. Oh, okay. So, what like when you when you got let go from like Lake Norrent then like what sort of like impact did that have on you? Um, like, as a negative like a negative impact on your life. Like, no, I didn't, I didn't look in a negative way because it's part of football, now, but you know when you have like family behind you, like. Your parents, my my brothers, like my, my cousin, my family, like your, like don't let that hold you down. In a plus, at the same time, is when you believe in God and when you have faith in God, you know, mm. it can be easier. So of course, yeah. a lot of people like they want to play football, 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 but if you don't pray, you don't really like mm-hmm. connect with God. It's not that easy. Mm. So yeah. Yeah, that's good, man. I think Chris might have another question for you. Moving like clubs, like obviously not moving clubs, so yeah. yeah. So moving throughout like clubs and stuff, like what impact did it have on like your family, your friends? Because you know, like you're not around them. We've read like the clubs you've been to, you've been to Carla, 
you've come back down to like you've been you come back down locally, but yeah. down to Essex and stuff. You've been to Ipswich, like all of that moving around. Like how how is it on you as a person and the people around you? Um, I think when I stopped school, yeah, so like it's, I have two options: either carry off from let's say education, the education thing, or just go straight to football. But even though I don't I had good grades, so like pops was like to me. So either football or the education, whatever you want. So they know I'll go football and let me try my luck on it. So the first time I actually went away, I remember I was like 16. Oh. In I was in Spain, Real Aviles, though, like literally one league below league, um, La Liga. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it was me and one of my cousins called Sal. So both 16, playing with like reserves. Imagine people like 21, 22, yeah. begging. Yeah. So um, I think we're done with, I think that's when I went from, because naturally I was a winger. Yeah, and then that's when the manager changed from being a winger to midfielder, so that you've got mm-hmm. you've got Billy. So I was there for like a good five six months, age of sixteen by myself. So mm-hmm. that as an experience as a young age. Mm-hmm. So even when I came back, then I had another opportunity to go. But can you quickly really touch on like going to Spain at sixteen with your cousin? Because like you're sixteen, flying abroad to Spain, and you're living out there. Yeah, like do you know it's the excitement, isn't it? Yeah. Like, I didn't really, I didn't really, I didn't, I didn't think about, you know what, I'm 16, I just want to go out and play football now. Mm-hmm. Go out there, show them what I can do. Yeah. But the good thing, I'm happy that they, they saw what we can do. They were happy yeah. with our performance, you know, so they're like, yeah, want to sign you. To the point of view that they've been trying to, they try to like organise like what we're studying here, yeah. so we can do over there. But obviously, it's think, Language, like, things didn't work out, so yeah. came back here and then my proper experience as owners in Italy, Signed for Serie B team called Ternana, but now I don't Serie C. Yeah. Uh, that was like one eighteen. That's when I fully kicked in in football, say. Yeah. So staying in, like, they paid for our hotel. They, me and my cousin, the same person, like, yeah. kind of travelled together in football. So signed when I was 18, played with the reserves, joined the first month at the time. Yeah. You know, but to the point, when I go to that stage, I said, you know what, this is nothing like football. It's football I'm enjoying it, but it's more of a job now. So yeah, I'm so, playing to provide for my family. So, so um, off the pitch, sorry, Scott, off the pitch, like, what was it like? Because obviously you're young, you're out there. What are you doing to keep yourself, like, comp- Like, what are you doing to keep, you and your cousins keep yourself, like, company, keep yourself entertained and stuff? Because obviously you're out there in Italy. Hmm. I'm not imagining so you, you speak Italian. I promise you, two people. Like, Italy? Um, yeah, Spain and Italy. Oh, right. yeah, so it was like, my agent in at the time, yeah. my agent, so the guy's like a Italian teacher. She used to yeah. come, obviously. If you speak, I can get into it, yeah. you know, I can I can say you're saying, but I can reply a few, few words in it. Yeah. But we didn't we didn't really take it seriously. <laughs> <laughs> she comes, like she teaches us, like, yeah, we're gonna practice the next day. Bro got upstairs, put away PS4. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, so, it was like that literally. Like the culture obviously out there, like out there. How did you find the culture? Because you know, like it's different from over here, over here. Like you walk past somebody, say hello, they're just looking at you like, are you okay? Mm. Whereas out there, like, what was it like? Like mixing with the locals and football out there as well. Because you know, Spain, Italy, place like that, like football's big out there. Yeah, do you know what it is, yeah? Mentality-wise, if you're, I think that's when, when I was in Italy, yeah, kind of build up my mentality-wise. Like, you know what? Now I'm into like, I'm playing with like, big people now. So yeah. there's ups and downs in it. You're not going to be playing every day. So me, in my head, I swing came. You know, I'm here for a reason, yeah. you know, so I'm not going to let this just go out of waste, out of nowhere. Yeah. So mixing with people is tough because Italy is known something to be racist. Yeah. So for me, I was alright, but my cousin, a few occasions, you know, he had it. Yeah. But, but I don't know that you have to deal with it. It's part of the, part of the yeah. life, you know, so your skin color is your skin color. There's nothing you can do. Andrew, exactly. man. Love, mm-hmm. If you love who you are, no one can tell you. Nah, mm-hmm. No one can tell you anything. But, <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Literally. That's facts. Dang the rubbish now. How is it over there, man? Uh, it's been good, man. I'll be. I'm. I'm happy that I was at this time for them in December. And, uh, if you if you think about, it, I left Carlisle somewhere like two years, two years ago. Mm. So, obviously, mm. I had a good season. Signed under um, Steve Presley, world manager, pure football. Um, I think I got about twenty games. Mm-hmm. 20 games played the FA Cup against Dallas as well. I didn't know one assist. Um, from Carlisle. That's what I'm saying. Football is a bit tough. So mm. when I left Carlisle, I didn't have a team until last year, December. Wow. So, so what, like, what mentality-wise, that's what I'm saying. So, yeah. so hello. Where, where was you playing then? I wasn't time? playing really. I was just training by myself. But also, oh. I was waiting for my agent like, to let me know what's popping and what's going on. So I was literally training by myself. Me and my boys just organized a little session like kickball just to keep me going and just to keep myself yeah. fit. But at the same time, is the 
all comes to faith in it. So like, because mm-hmm. I put my faith in God, like, you know what? Whatever happens, it happens for a reason. So mm-hmm. I don't really care about people asking, well, you haven't got to know that? Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Like, I'm just training, I'm waiting in it. So mm-hmm. that was part of God's plan for me to go through that period. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I did. And it went well. I didn't like break. You know, I didn't think about it. I didn't think about anything stupid to do. So like, I was just training, be happy. Cool Once you happen in life, because remember, you're eating your... If you're eating, you're sleeping. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like, just in well, what yeah. is it to be to be? You know I mean, to be sad. Because like yeah. for you, yeah, like it must like it takes somebody to be strong to not have a team for I think you said two years. Yeah. For, to not have a team for two years, uh, like people are probably I, looking I at you like for the season, bro. Like the whole season. I just literally signed this season here, like yeah. December time, and it came out of nowhere, bro. Because yeah. like people would have probably been like, wow, like this guy ain't played yeah. in two years. Like what's he doing? Yeah. Some people would have probably not even known your situation. Probably been like, yeah, like he's wasting his talent and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, like, you know how people you, you get talking lot, about man. Like, full like, picture. Like, when it comes to football, yeah, when you yeah. when you like get out there and people yeah. see you every day, daily, that daily to late basis, yeah. Yeah, and then when they don't see you play, yeah. they start saying, oh, where's he doing now? Or he's changed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're gonna get that a lot. Mm-hmm. What well, what was before JT gets on to your next question quickly? From not be, not playing for two years, basically, yeah. What was like the first training session and the first match like then at Langham Bridge? Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know oh, the first levels were nice. You know, it's, you know it's, yeah, I was training every day, like most of the time. Mm. Yeah. So training fitness, but I was cold. When it came to the game, bro. This is rusty. <laughs> rusty. <laughs> but it's all getting up all here. Bro, it's all landing you know, over like, there. A little simple one too, yeah. Yeah, where's my yeah. options? Like, look, <laughs> like, the thing is, yeah, the ball comes to me. I know just have to tap it there. Mm. But my brain is like 10 times slow, bro. Like everything will just bare stop here. Like I'm thinking, oh, what's going on? Like mm. having told the manager, like I told the after like gaffer, I've been out for like a whole year. Technically, mm. like, we'll t- like obviously you sign me for a reason, and then like you can see you know what I can do, but I need time, I need like training for, like, I need to train every day to get to know the boys even better now. Mm. And then from there I'll kick in, in it. So it took me a while, bro. It took me about after the first game. Yeah, Gaffer put him in holiday for like good two months. I didn't play him for like two months. So I just trained every day, bro. So quick question before we get on to the next one. Like, who was at like Dagnum Redbridge who like kind of did anybody like come to you and be like, yo, like come train with us or come speak to us, or take you on their wing, like while you like first signed over there? Um uh like obviously the agent I'm signed now, and yeah. um his name is Daniel. Innit? So he he knows the um the manager. Innit? Yeah. So I think he was looking for midfielder. So he sent him my video, but the football works differently. So imagine, even I was in Carlisle, I think the managers at um, Macclesfield, the only league at that time, yeah. but he was, in a, he was a manager at the same time, so he played against them. But he remembers me from that game in Carlisle. He said, yeah, I've played yeah. against him. Like, he was one of the best players in the game. He said, he hasn't got a team. Like, he was surprised I didn't have a team. So I think that was on Thursday. I had training earlier with like, some guy, personal trainer. Yeah. And then Daniel called me like, yo, Gaffer wants you to go in today. I was thinking, bro, like, I'm literally getting ready to go training right now. He's like, he wants you right now. So the train, start, the train session starts around 10.30. Mm. So, so I was like, yo, my thing is like, now it's like, and he's like, oh, the Gaffer's going to change train session for you to be like 11.30. I was like, bro, like, what's going on? Like, I was confused. So I was like, what's going on? That must be spinning. Yeah, I was like, thinking, oh, so I'm going to, I had to call the other guys. Like, Listen, I can't come today. Mm. And then schedule the other day. So train on Thursday. Chain on Friday, and it's like, yeah, I'm gonna offer you. I was thinking, uh, to the end of the season, and so hopefully my contract runs out this this month. This month yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So saying that you had a lot of ups and downs with football, yeah. and you kept the faith the whole time. So what was the feeling like when you signed your first pro contract? Um, and you saw like the hard. Do you know the feeling, off. like do you know that the because uh, remember you worked hard to get a contract, and mm-hmm. once you signed, you're thinking, oh, like. Finally, signed what actually been working for that time. Yeah. I mean, it could be like five, six years, whatever years that it takes you know. Mm. But it doesn't stop there. Now. So once you sign, mm. it's like, you know. Yeah, carry on. Then the carry on now. Next Show stage. them why I signed a contract. So yeah. it was a good feeling, man. Yeah, how were your family? How was the reaction from your family? Now, nah, they were excited, man. But the thing is that when it comes to football, even anything else in it, like one thing about me that I've learned that you can't tell everyone everything. Even same family, even yeah, if you like yeah. your parents and that. Keep it yourself, like yeah. even when I went to Carlisle, I was supposed to be there for like three days, end up taking like a week. Mm. So played a game against like a Scottish Prem team. They popped us up a roll. It's mad. It's a mad <laughs> yeah. thing. But um done well. The gaff was like, oh, I went to for the whole week. So my boys were calling my line, yo, let's go and train. I was like, yeah, I've got family stuff at home and I can't mm-hmm. come. I didn't want to tell him anything. Yeah. The only people knew was like my family and you know, like my brothers, man. Yeah. And then when I signed with the story, like once do you know, like when you say a sign out of nowhere, like even you could be my, my boy, you're happy about it. And then 
you tell someone else. Him and then you tell somebody you know else. And so yeah. once I put the ink on the paper, then I was like, you know yeah. what? Then you can put I it out. Then you can come out and now. Okay. Okay. Why I wasn't coming so, training. Okay. When you signed, like, was it like I've arrived, or did mum's did mum and dad like keep you grounded, like yo, like? No, cult? no. <laughs> One thing about me, I've always, I don't know, but I've always been humble in it. Like, yeah. I don't like to brag or anything like that. So since yeah. I signed, it's a normal thing, man. Like, it's, it's part of my job now. Mm. Let me just play. Cool, sir. Obviously, I know you're saying you're humble and stuff like that. You don't really seem like a materialistic person, like, but what did you do with that first paycheck? <laughs> bro, it went all to bills. <laughs> nah, I'm never good. capping. Like, I've been there, like, bro. The thing is, yeah, I don't like, I don't wear anything expensive. I'm never gonna cap to you. Mm. Like, mm -hmm. if you can come to my crib, if you find inexpensive, you can have it. <laughs> I swear <laughs> to God, I have no, <laughs> no balance, like nothing. I'm just normal casual guy, and I'll, I'll, I'll ship at Zara, bro. Yeah, in yeah. my life. Hey, nothing wrong with Zara, man. Hundred percent. Zara's a serious place, fam. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm going to you because on your feet right now. Yeah, yeah. Next week, your feet. Next week, I'm coming in an all Zara drip just because you said that. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> no, nah, but most of my most of my money went to like family in it, cause do you know what I mean. Without them, yeah, exactly, what I am yeah, in, so, exactly, yeah, know, exactly. Giving them a bit of sign, so yeah, that's good, man. That's good. Obviously, what's your next goal then, man? Like um, on the pitch, obviously, you're saying your contracts on the end of this month. What you and your agent cooking up a? I nah. know you ain't trying to release too much and stuff, but no, nah, but um, obviously I'm doing well in it. So I've been out for like two weeks because I had like, a full injury. The last time I played against against Barnet, mm. playing for the injury, obviously. I made it a bit worse, so yeah. um, the club are happy with me. I'm happy with the club in it. Plus, it's like next to my house, so I would actually. Like, I'm happy to sign for them. That's the thing. Like for one more year or two years, over how many offers gonna like, how many years gonna give me? I don't really care. Mm -hmm. But yeah. my next target is hopefully sign, um, just work on myself to improve myself better, and then mm -hmm. next season to be a different animal. Isn't it? I got my own goals already settled, so you hear that different animal mm -hmm. next you know, season. So so you lot just hopefully it works out well, and then you see thirty goals, thirty assists. <laughs> yeah, I mean, is that the expectation? Is that you're saying? Yeah, yeah bro. Like, aim, like, aim what? high. Aim high. <laughs> like, it's that, like, don't be fooled, you know, by this humbleness, bro. He will not make everybody in here right now, fam. <laughs> 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 so, um, like, what is that like, one of the biggest derbies you've always like? Once, what's the biggest game you've always wanted to play from like a child? Do you know like the biggest thing is that when you make when you make a debut, bro, mm. remember that feeling. You know what? This is my first game coming on again, mm. and the first game I think I played was like in Swindon, the top of the league, bro. The pitch is massive. Bro, <laughs> Do you know I'm coming on, yeah? Because yeah. I'm coming. I actually came on the wing, bro, and that yeah. thing looking long. I was thinking, bro, oh, like, I'm looking at the guy from that. Like, you sure? He's like, yeah, you're playing left. With, like the three out front and the left. Yeah. Even when full that, I know you're playing mid, but I think the guy's a bit slow and you can do a job like that. Fair enough. So I came in. That's my first game. That's the first game I bagged as well. Yeah. So within like 30 minutes, 2-1. Mm. So that feeling that, you know, I made my debut and it went mm. well, like I scored. And then normally on your debut, that's where the fans expect to see something from you. You know, yeah. from there, that's yeah, where they 100%. judge you from that. No. If you play dead, bro, that's, that's it. You've got, you've got, <laughs> you're, in the, yeah, you're in the bad oh, books. Yeah. <laughs> Why'd they sign this guy? This guy's oh. terrible. Where'd he come from? <laughs> nah, but, Can't yeah. play for my club. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but Carlisle, I'm happy, man. A good yeah. experience, I'll be honest with you. What's the, the fans. best goal you've scored? Um, the best goal I scored was for Braintree before I went to Carlisle. Yeah. Bang, about two goals, both yeah. left foot top bin on the left, Ooh. right foot top bin on the right, and I think the free kick. But I scored a 40, I scored like nice goals, bro. Yeah. Before I went to Carlisle, you know? yeah. <laughs> I'll show you that, but once the thing finishes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Honestly, then to wrap this up, man, just the last question. What sort of advice would you give like, to the youth of today? You said football is a, is a tough and challenging game mentally. Yeah. It's hard. You've got, hard work. You've got to work hard, sorry. It's a lot. So what sort of advice would you give, man, to the next generation? I would just say put your head down. Just whatever goal you have, just go for it. Because don't get distracted with other people to do. Yeah. You got your own, stay on your lane. He can be doing that. He can, like, he can be going out every day. Let him do that. Because at the end of the day, that's him. I mean, if you're working for your goal... Enjoy it, but just know your friends are in it. Your real yeah. friends, they'll tell you. Like, if you're doing something wrong, they'll be like, yo, that's not you. Like, live mm -hmm. up. Or mm -hmm. if you start going a bit left, they will tell you early doors. But the friends are dragging you every time. Let's go out and they know that like, you're working to be a dream. Cut them off, man. Because then if there's Beth, that like, the friends that you are right now, you're not going to be with them forever, innit? So yeah. you have to know who's your real ones. So just put your head down, work hard. Just know what you're doing, it. Because if you're going to go to football, you're going to leave everything else on the left, like education. So if that doesn't work out, what have you got now? That's true. So, yeah.
Just work hard and just put your head down, really. Yeah. There it is, folks. Work hard. Cut off the people them that you want to cut off. Bad energy, mate. You don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it, it didn't even bother me, you know. I'm not gonna lie to you because when I came back from Carla, that's when lockdown started. And yeah, I, brother was it was a fitness job, I'll be real because I had like a schedule, yeah, just pure fitness. Every, the only day we had off like Wednesday, but every day we had like a app on the phone and like, just like without using it so the club can see all, what we're doing. So it was like certain rounds we have to do, we have to do that every like Monday, different run, Tuesday, different run, Wednesday, we're off. So that was repeated until the Lockdown came to like no one can really go out and train, so after after that I think that's when the control runs out. So I'm just chilling at home, but it was alright, man, because I don't really go out in it. I'm not really out person, so mm-hmm. meeting at home was better for me just to stay at home than going out. Mm-hmm. It is, man. If you want to make it in this game, you gotta stay humble, for do real. what you need to do, and that's it. Work hard, but that's the end of the pod for today, man. Thank you guys. Keep watching the video, run it up. Like, comment, subscribe. You know we're here every Sunday. I've been Tyler. I'm JT. I'm Chris. Mo, thanks for coming through, man. We really appreciate it and stuff. We hope to have you here again soon. I'll be back next. Whenever, just give me a line. I'm here. (laughs) (laughs) Peace. Love.